So you spent many years as a slave. How did you deal with it? How did you make it through? Easy. If someone got my back up, I would kick them in the cobblers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They couldn't hold me down either. But it didn't prepare me for the cruelty that would eventually happen to me. Don't feel sorry for yourself, Rigmore. Pull your shoulders back and keep your head high. Don't let them see weakness. It only adds flames to the fire of their vindictiveness. You must dominate them through your confidence. A half-hearted thrust from the enemy is their demise. <laughs> you sound like my dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, hey. She's awake. As you can see, Dragon Child, Rigmore has made a full recovery, and my word, some of the things she has told me about you. Ali. Just remember, one small deer antler, three blood wart, and one Namira's rot. That was my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't suppose there's a recipe to make my hair grow overnight. Pfft. Actually, there is. What? No way. To make your hair grow, or in your case, restore it to its last length before it was cut, you need two ingredients. The heart of a werewolf, as the adrenaline extracted from its blood gives you the acceleration required for growth. And the other? A lock of hair, from the person wanting to restore the length by drinking the hair tonic. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh well. Good to know, though. Right, Dragonborn? What? That bitch! You never said... And you kept it? No, Dragonborn. A werewolf? It's too dangerous. We've wasted enough time as it is. Sure, I want my hair back, but it'll grow in time. Please don't kill the poor werewolf. I mean, it's not like its life isn't bad enough without losing it over a hair tonic. Do what you feel you have to do, Dragonborn. I'm okay either way. Only you can decide, but is it worth the risk, and another's life, no matter how foul the beast? You're right. It has already killed and will kill again. It's for the best.
Did that old crone send you out here to kill me? Well, you tell her I had nothing to do with her kid's death. And she can keep her nose out of my business. So, what are you here for? So you came all the way out here to kill me for a fucking hair tonic? <laughs> Dragon blood, eh? A worthy opponent for a change. So, now you need to decide whether to kill me, or take a seat so we can talk. Then be my guest. Help yourself to a beer. My name's Davinius, what people call me, called me Dave. I grew up in Cyrodiil, Coral to be exact. My parents did their best to raise me right, but I ended up in the wrong crowd. Did a bit of this, bit of that, ended up in Skyrim, and that's when I got bitten. After I had turned a couple of times, I knew I had to get away from civilization. I didn't want to hurt anyone and had no control over the beast inside me. I stole a sailing boat from Solitude Docks and ran aground here. Perfect, so I thought. An almost uninhabited island where I could do no harm. I've been out here for years now. Plenty of elk and deer, rabbits. Ships run aground on the rocks from time to time, and I salvage the wrecks. Yeah, those Akaviri dogs. It all happened by accident. I was having one of my turns, as you do, and ran into a patrol of them. Maybe they were Pathfinders scouting the island out, but they've been coming here to look around for a couple of years now. Only the gods know why. I can only remember some kind of red mist, and when I awoke, or came round if you like, I was stuck in Wolfhorn, but with the complete control of a sentient human being. I've been like this ever since. In a way, it's kind of like a blessing. If people come here sniffing around, I can just hide until they are gone. Ha! Huh. She came snooping around looking for her daughter. Nothing to do with me, Dragonblood. Only the gods know the truth. It all started many years back. She would come out here to the ridge, calling out her name, in the forest not far from here. So I guessed something was up. After some time, she stopped coming. Then when the Akavir arrived a couple of years back, she was back. Only the once like, she found my cave. I hid and watched her leave. That was the last human contact I have had. I knew someone was coming up here, but I know I hadn't killed anyone. I saw her once or twice from a distance. The name the crone called out was some weird language. Some ancient dialect. I can't remember what it was now. The gods only know what she was doing all the way up here. But as the gods are my witness, I never harmed her. Yeah, I love it here. <laughs> Your hair tonic, friend? Your friend must be very special for you to come here to take on a werewolf. One moment. what she wants from this.
All I want in return is that you put in a good word for me at the village, and come back and visit me someday. Hey, now that's something I can look forward to. We can make a huge bonfire on the beach and get absolutely shit-faced. Me, you and your friend if you like. <laughs> now, you'd better go. Your friend might be getting worried. Just tell them they have nothing to worry about. And if they like, send someone up to trade goods. I can provide elk and deer skins, rabbit skins and meat. <laughs> no wolves though. <laughs> I'll trade them for provisions and beer. Take her, Dragonblood. Gods be with you. A minute. Rigmore, take the potion. It might seem it hasn't worked yet, but the next moon, you'll wake up with a full head of hair. Now then, haven't you two got somewhere else to be? Thank you for everything, Allie. I won't forget you. Again, my pleasure. Travel safely, my children. May the gods be vigilant in watching over you, both. Come on, let's go. Dragon child, wait. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Yeah, let's get this over with. Yeah, pretty impressive, huh? Okay, how do I look?
Okay, let's go. Dragonborn? Dragonborn, what's wrong? Are you okay? No. She gave me some of that potion to take with me. That's all. Okay.
Pronto. Get over here quick. Looks like we've been expected. You had better sort your fucking friend out before we lynch his sorry stinking ass. What can I get you? Yeah, the beast has never been down here though. Thank you, gods. I, uh, find that hard to believe. Considering you're still alive and, uh, they don't talk. This should be interesting. Go on. Well, uh, that would be a first. But I doubt anyone would want to risk a confrontation. But, uh, I'll let the others know and uh, keep what you said in mind. Now go sort out your stinky friend. He stinks like shit and he's emptied my inn. And he's half naked. You had better hurry. 